Ryan Brown, thanks for taking the time. Uh, you played four water polo matches this past weekend, won them all, won the Rare Air Challenge, and uh, congratulations to you and your team. Did you see what you wanted to see throughout those four games? Yeah, the, the team played well. Um, we were really focused on ourselves and just executing what we've been working on, which isn't very much, so it uh, wasn't super complicated. Um, they played really well. Um, <clears throat> you know, a few things here and there that obviously we need to work on, but as a coach, that's my job. i got to nitpick. Um, but it's a great starting point. Um, some of the things we've been working on in practice really showed up and uh, good execution on those things. Um, so obviously we're going to watch the film and we're going to re-emphasize here's what we did. Great job. Let's keep doing that stuff. So really happy. From the uh, not-so-perfect eye, me watching these games, I saw lots of different players scoring goals. And I, I think that's a good thing because the more weapons that you have on your team makes you a better team, correct? Absolutely, yeah. A lot of different players scored. A lot of different players were out there. A lot of different combinations of guys. Um, really testing the waters with different people, um, seeing what combos we can have in there, um, who we can have in there, how much time in the game. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to see everybody score, and more importantly, the assists, um, you know, playing as a team rather than trying to be an individual. What stuck out to you as far as things that didn't work for your team this weekend? Uh, I think there's a few things that, uh, you know, we, we struggled defensively in certain scenarios. We were slow coming back to help when we needed to help. Um, you know, and then a couple of times we tried to get a little too tricky with the ball, and that's that's not who we are. That's not our game. Um, but uh, when we weren't tricky, we stuck to the fundamentals. We looked real good. When we were paying attention, head on a swivel on defense, uh, we were tough to tough to beat. Seems to me that uh, you talked about defense. Seems to me you've got two pretty good goal goalkeepers back there, and which is which is nice to have because if someone's maybe having a bad day, you got someone else you can throw in there, right? Absolutely. Both goalies played well. Anthony and AJ uh, stepped up in all the games. Uh, last line of defense, you know, obviously the defense in front of them has to do their job to limit the amount of shots that come and how good those shots are uh, and the locations of those shots. And then our goalies did their jobs, blocked a lot of balls made a lot of big saves that, you know, probably shots we shouldn't be giving up. Um, so they played phenomenal. It's great to have two of them. Um, they keep pushing each other every day in practice. Um, they're great teammates. They're great supporters of each other, and that really helps too. So now you head back to uh, California. Imagine that uh, for this weekend. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, we'll be at the Redlands uh, Inland Empire Tournament. Uh, have four games out there, all at Redlands. Um, play four games in like 36 hours. So... It's a lot of, a lot of games, uh, a lot of game time goes by fast, um, but also, once again, more about us than other teams there. Um, we're still learning, we're still training. Uh, the following week after that, back here at home, we've got a conference game. So four more games of training out there, really trying to dial in what we're trying to do and can we do it sustained four quarters, four games over a weekend. So. Was it nice to have, so it'll be a, a total of eight games here to get your team ready before you get into conference play. Is it nice to kind of see that, and I guess maybe more to the point, what do you want to see this weekend that maybe you didn't see last? Yeah, I mean, it's great to have games. Uh, you want to play as many games as you can before you start playing conference so you get things ironed out and uh, things that are working, things that aren't working, kind of um, get everybody kind of in the groove of back playing. We don't get a play during the summer, so... You know, this last weekend was our first competition in a long time. Um, and then, uh, you know, we get four more on the road, which is even better. So now we've played at home, we've played on the road. Um, all those things are fantastic. And you just kind of put them back in the memory banks. Um, and definitely helps the team as we go forward. Of course, you'll be outdoors this coming weekend. A little bit different. Is your team ready for that? Uh, they love playing outdoors. Uh, I love being outdoors as well. Um, I think that's because most of the roster is from California, so they miss being outdoors because we don't have an outdoor pool here. Um, so I think everybody misses being outdoors. Um, and, you know, a little bit of a distraction. Now you're traveling. You know, parents are there. Parents were here this weekend, but we have, you know, we talk about distractions and all that sort of stuff. Got to be able to focus in on what we're supposed to be focusing in on. Um, so once again, another, another training environment. Um, one more thing to work on and kind of just, once again, put back that memory bank all for the conference games and all for the end of the season. Coach Brown, thanks for the time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it, Brian.